Hello, it is Monday and it is just after the vlog is released and I'm working down here and I'm working on the smaller bag four. It's not the small, small bags. Those aren't numbered, but this one is numbered and it's mostly light bluish gray profile brick or the masonry brick rather. And so what I've done in this case is I've decided I'm going to do it differently. Instead of dumping all the bags out and then pulling the pieces, I'm doing this. I dump the bag. There's only these two antennas. They go over here. The one hair piece, that goes here. And this one printed one by two tile, and that goes over here. And then the rest of these parts get dumped over here. Much, much quicker. Um, these I'm counting as I go basically because I know there's two of these and one of those and one of those in each bag So if I don't have them, I'll know and then at the end I'll just have to count a bunch of those to know if everything is correct in the bag So it's, it's gonna go a little quicker this time through because of this if there's a large variety of pieces Then I wouldn't be able to do it quite the same way uh, But this is gonna help speed things up a little bit. And I thought I'd show that quickly. I'm gonna do this again just dump a bag make sure it's empty I am saving the bags. I'm just putting them here for now, but they're going to go over here in this. Pull out the hair, pull out the printed tile, and then pull out the two antennas here and there. So we're done. So it's, it's pretty quick, but this does not happen often. In any case, that is what I've been up to. And so yeah, the new vlog is starting with, I believe, this video. So uh, thank you very much, and we will see you in the next little clip. All right, so we have a brief update to sorting of that smaller bag four got all the antennas and all those printed tiles all the hair pieces are fine just these left but then i found when i was counting them to use the counting scale to count how many i've got a hundred of them in there and i'm going to pour some more in as well but there's also one by one brick in here so i'm just grabbing a handful putting it in here pulling out any of the one by one brick and tossing it there and then just dumping this over here and then this will come over here to dump in here and so that's how we're going to count them use the counting scale but yeah i was a little surprised i i didn't notice it perhaps other people noticed it in the video but i have noticed it now until we're dealing with it but not a bad thing at all still a very quick bag overall anyway we're going to get to the rest of this thank you hello I haven't been doing a lot of vlog content. I don't know why necessarily, but here we are, we're doing some right now. Uh, these are the contents of two or three of the small bags from the Queer Eye set, 30 copies. Uh, as you can see down here on the floor, I've got, uh, I think just two more. Yeah, I think there's three bags here. I've just got two more small bags down there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and open those up too and combine them because between all the small bags there was duplicate pieces in in all of them uh, just because they were needed in different areas of the build so they gave it to you in that bag and then they gave it to you in another bag so i think i am going to go through and open those up one at a time and add them to what's here already because it'll be a little easier to put away i think than going through and do it a couple of times but i am running low if not out of the small drawers so we'll see how that goes uh anyway uh, i also went to the lego store today and i bought pick a brick because they got a new pick a brick in so this is what i got uh eight cups uh the five in the back are all just that one piece in there so we got the uh, masonry bricks in white and then this nougat we've got like a dark gray or perhaps some very similar color in the palisade with the white palisade and then we've got this yellow one which is kind of a strange one it's the uh vertical slash horizontal lines depending on which side of the brick you're looking at um, in here, these clear pieces are one by two transparent clear panels. So they've got the sides on three sides. That's kind of neat. Uh, and then there's some of the white uh, lamp posts. Uh, in here, I got a few more lamp posts. And then these, well, they're like one by one round bricks, but with fins on them, sort of like engines or something. Uh, they've got these blue supports. Um, I also have a couple of trees. They had trees, these curved uh, fences, and then down here, this old piece. In my opinion, it's old because this was available in some of the classic space sets from the 80s. It's uh, possible the mold has changed a little bit, but basically the same piece. Uh, I got a few of the red hearts and a few more other pieces that uh, duplicate in here. And then there's also 
in here these large rock pieces. It's just it's very hard to see them because they, they're all flat in, in the cup. Uh, and then there was also a large yellow slide that I did not get. Um, we kind of tested it at the store. You could get six of them in a cup if you tried, but, uh, you know, I'm not sure that uh, it would be worthwhile trying to grab that. In any case, that's what I got going on today. And uh, I'll come back and do some video perhaps before I put away the rest of the pieces after I open all that up and take care of it. And uh, thank you very much. Hello. So, cart is missing here. And over here, the only thing left are the minifigure parts. The cart, however, is over here. And I've just started to put parts away. I dumped the first part and I'm like, oh, I should probably take some video. So I've got parts all the way on the top. And I got parts on that shelf and that shelf and a whole bunch of them down on that shelf. Uh, so we're just going to start putting away. We, we start off putting away the parts that are already in the inventory, uh, trying to put them in the same spot. Uh, I actually just put this piece away here. Uh, some of this light bluish gray triangle piece. There was plenty of room in there. So I just dumped them in and we move on. Uh, and then when we're done with all the parts that already exist in the inventory, we will move to the parts that aren't in the inventory already. And then once we're all done, we will save the file and go back and worry about pricing the pieces that aren't in inventory. I'll probably check the prices on the ones that are in inventory, and then we'll upload it. So yeah, we're almost done. It will happen today, unless there's some sort of major problem that I run into, which could happen, but I'm hoping not. In any case, that's the update. Thank you. Hello again. So all those pieces that were over there have been put away. The cart is now over here. And now we're working on the minifig stuff. Uh, I went through and I've decided that I'm going to keep five of each minifig to sell as the new minifig. And then 25 of each just as parts. And of course, there are some extra torsos and legs and hair pieces and the hat and the handbag that there's a full 30 quantity of because they were just extras in the set. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be some stuff, more stuff being put away. And then I'm almost done. I have sticker sheets and instruction books to do. Which means I have to cut the, the bags that have the instruction books to get sticker sheets out. But not a horrible thing. That is what I'm up to at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping I can get the last of this uploaded tonight. It is like 9.30 or something like that. So I think we can do it. Anyway, thank you very much. Hello. So it's been a bit since I've done any kind of an update. Uh, lots of stuff's been going on. Uh, so this is a tote of stuff that I had some people over working on. This is a purchase I made a while ago. It's color sorted, uh, and they've been working on sorting that into the different categories, some of the colors. I just basically have the black and grays left, plus white and orange. Um, I also picked up like 17 copies of this poly bag. It's 1411. It's a Studios poly bag. There's actually four minifigures in it, or three minifigures in it, I think. Three or four, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, thought that was pretty cool. Uh, very surprised to get that many of them. It was a promotional poly bag, so that's odd. Uh, and right now, as you can see, I've got the table set up for some sorting in the large categories. We're going to tackle the uh, modified plate. So this is going to be a whole bunch of stuff to go through. It's going to take a while to figure out exactly how I want to sort it down. And it's going to take... Uh, even longer to get through it all so that's what we're going to start right now and that's all i got for right now thank you hello so i've gotten a whole bunch of stuff done uh, as you can see this tote is much much smaller in volume than it was uh, and these are the categories that i had basically come up with um, this is jumper plates uh, these pieces back here are large uh, these are smaller ones, uh, basically up to like, uh, this is like a 6x6, six six, but that's cut out. But uh, this is, I think, the largest piece. These are 4x6, and so that's the next largest piece. Everything else bigger goes over here. What that means, though, is sometimes I have this piece, which goes in the middle of that piece, like that. And so if they're separate, they get separated. So that might be a little special case. Uh, this is a, a strange, weird intermediate. There's only really two pieces. These, uh, the minifigure bases, and these little A's uh, for plates. And so, it's the only pieces I ended up putting in there. So, we'll see. I might change that going forward. These are what I'm calling long. Any longish looking piece. So, it's lots of these in different lengths. Uh, 
slide ones as well, and then these as well. Uh, back here, these are pieces that have plate on more than one level. So that one is connected by two things, so it's got two different levels of plate. I actually ran into one that has three different levels of plate. I don't know if I can find it quickly. Here we go. So there's plate, and then lower plate, and then upper plate again. Uh, this one over here has pin connections. So it, whether it's this kind of pin connection, or that kind of pin connection, or this kind, and they're different sizes. So this is a small pin, and this one here next to it is a larger pin, but they're both pin connections. Uh, this is probably the worst category. Uh, it is clips and other connector type pieces, and it's basically they're they're two by two or smaller. Uh, there's a little bit of exceptions, like this one might be considered a one by four because it's longer, but it's only got the two studs with the ball socket on one end and the ball on the other. Uh, and there's a couple other types of pieces in there that are a little longer, so they're in there. Um, these are also in there, the older ball joints like that. Uh, these are swivels and hinges. Any kind of hinge like this, uh, the bigger hinge like this. Uh, but all plate-based hinges, and then all the swivels and parts thereof are going in here. Uh, these are smaller straight pieces, or, or long, if you will. Uh, the the 2 by 4s and then anything else that's 1 by 4 uh, These, which has the tile space in between them. These, which have like a connection point. These, which have a connection point. Um, uh, these, I think I hadn't shown this one yet. I don't remember the other one. but So, and then there's this one, too. So those all go in here. Uh, these have spots for pins. Uh, so all sorts of different types of spots for pins on those. Uh, this is like miscellaneous. This is like everything that doesn't really have good other stuff with it. Um, so like the teeth. Um, little old, I, I consider these uh, like laser cannons because they were on some of the really old classic space sets. Um, like a little axe. Um, these are, I've seen these used as engines as well, but other engine pieces are going elsewhere. So those are staying here for now. This little guy here, he's kind of a weird one. And also the, all the way down to the one by one rounds that, uh, have the hole in the middle. We've got these, these pieces here, just all sorts of plate type pieces that are different. Like this one is, I've got this handle on the top. Um... And there is some really weird stuff in here. I only saw once or twice. Uh, this kind of piece, too, is in here. Uh, and then this one, which is fairly large, this is uh, stuff that doesn't go here. Uh, a lot of it is, uh, is stuff that I've already dealt with. These are slopes. Uh, some of it is questionable. Uh, like this is, uh, I'm calling it an engine piece, so we're going to put it with vehicle parts, but it could go with modified plate, uh, much like the other piece that I showed. Let's see if I can grab one quickly. Of course, yeah, here we go. So I'm keeping the gray one and the yellow one is not. So, you know, it's, it's just a matter of opinion, really. Uh, these, which I'm saying should be Technic because they've got these technically kind of gear type things on the bottom. This is clearly a vehicle part. This one, I certainly get why it was in here, but this is a plant part because they use these to make trees. Um, this is a vehicle base, so that's in here. Just around, so it was in here. Uh, another vehicle part type thing just all sorts of weird stuff in here and it, there's very soon there's like this regular plate found that in there uh, a wedge found that in there so i mean there's all sorts of other pieces in here lots of snot too i'm finding in here so that stuff doesn't belong uh and yeah and so i'm getting there um i probably got almost half of it done and from the judging of that, I will probably need, you know, I'll definitely need another shoebox of these. Most of the rest will probably be okay. I'm not sure about these two. Um, I went and picked through a lot of the larger pieces that were nearest the top. And I do see a few more that are in here that will be able to pull out. But there may be more that are even further buried. Uh, and this one will probably need a new uh, shoebox. But the rest of them might get by with the shoebox they have. Like the jumpers... I mean, there's, that's maybe a quarter to a third full, so that's not too bad. Um, and so I think most of the rest of them will be okay size-wise. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this piece. It's a gear, uh, so it's probably going to go in with Technic, uh, but it's a newer type of gear. And then this piece is just, it's broken. One of the things is tilted up. 
And I have found a few non-Lego pieces. This is another Lego piece. It's damaged beyond sale. And I happen to notice you can see the damage right there on the corner. So I just pulled it right away. I'm not even going to bother sorting it. Uh, I'm not spending a lot of time looking at pieces. But if I happen to notice something, I'm dealing with it. Uh, I also had somebody here sorting today. Uh, and we found this pile of gray plates. And the weird part about all these, and I've already fixed the problem, is they were glued together, but they were glued together sideways, like that. Uh, so there was a bead of glue added there. So I just kind of basically bent them all. And so now there's like this glue residue on the on the edges. I don't know if I'm going to bother taking the time to try to clean them up or anything like that. Um, and I don't want to... Oh, I'm going to wash them and put them in with, with general wash because then I'll lose track of which ones they are. So I'm probably just going to deal with those separately and decide what I'm going to do. And if I decide I'm going to keep them, if I can you know, clean up by hand the, the residue, then I will put them in to be washed again. If not, they're just going to go in reject parts because they're fully usable. I mean, I don't think there's a single one of them that had any problem that I thought. Like, there, there may be a little damage on the corner of this one. But uh, for the most part, they are very usable. And the larger plates like that are kind of popular for a lot of people. Uh, so going over here, uh, we finished the tote that had been over here. Uh, so that is uh, over here somewhere now. Uh, it's underneath this clear one. And so another one from down along this row, I guess it was right here, has moved over here. Uh, just started looking at the very top of it. He didn't have a lot much time left, but... Uh, this will be the next thing we go through. He didn't see a lot of minifigure parts at the top, but, you know, that's the way it goes. And they could have filtered down lower. And a lot of these totes are just like, uh, it's not all one purchase. It's like uh, I purchased some stuff. It got poured in. It wasn't enough. I poured some more in. So there could be, the bottom half could be very minifigure heavy if that lot that I bought was mini minifigure heavy. Uh, he also dumped uh, most of these off, or a lot of them off that were really full, into... The totes which are labeled now i think i showed the labels i'm not sure uh but yeah so we've i went through and i labeled all the large totes uh there's actually a few i did not label like right down here these two next to each other on the bottom the one on the left wheels vehicle parts including windscreens the one on the right isn't labeled but it's the same thing and then i had the same thing here technic bionicle hero factory and bars and then same thing in that tote same category uh and then this blue tote here and this blue tote here are empty. There's nothing in them. And the one that's labeled Duplo is technically empty, but I had very little Duplo. So, I mean, there's a few pieces. I mean, I don't think either sorting location has become close to being full. So, But the rest of these are getting up there. And we are definitely going to have to start washing again. Uh, so that's going to be an exciting thing. Uh, I've started the process of getting the work done on the outside of the house for getting the uh, new internet it's going to be it's called green light and it's a fiber optic instead of uh, just a electrical signal and so that's going to be kind of cool once we get that installed it should speed things up here uh not that i'm particularly slow but i'm looking forward to it uh, it's a little bit less expensive too than the uh, uh cable company so we'll be dropping that but that is all i've got it's a rather lengthy update at this point uh, I've got this tote here that's got a lot of Technic in it, and it's also got some bags of other things. So I've got to go through this and, and deal with that. But most of it's probably just going to get dumped in this Technic bin down here, this green one. The Technic is, yeah, I'm scared of the Technic because I've, I've got a bin and a half of it, and these are tiny parts, so there's just so much of it. But in any case, um, that is all I've got. We're going to sign off here, and we'll have some sort of an update tomorrow. Thank you. Hello again. So I've been diligently sorting more of the modified plate. Um, as you can see, there's just a little bit left in that bin. I think one more sitting of a couple hours will probably get through that. Um, I've got that tote right there, that shoebox, full of the most common stuff. And this one is getting full. Um, I was thinking I'd have just over two full shoeboxes of that and i may still because most of the stuff that's in here is smaller stuff uh, i did go through and pull out a lot of the big stuff so i really shouldn't see much of these four categories actually these five i pulled all five of these things out because i was just kind of done sorting the small stuff but i'm like ah, i can reach in here and pull some stuff out although here this is another big one i just noticed here this can go over here um but yeah uh and then there's still that last tote on the left there that's uh all the stuff that doesn't go in this category, at least for me. 
So there's a lot of stuff there that was wrong, and some of it just doesn't make sense to me at all, but hey, whatever. Um, tie, uh, not the tie, but the jumpers, getting a, quite a lot of jumpers. I can see that pretty much filling up or very close. Uh, most of the rest of these probably won't be terribly endangered over filling. This one might get pretty full. I don't think this one will be a problem, and I don't think that one will be a problem. And um, this one of the other might be a problem. We'll see. But yeah, uh, we were there, and of course, this one here is just about overflowing. There might be one or two more of these, but I kind of doubt it because they're pretty big. Uh, these, I might still get a few more, but I pulled most of them out. Uh, the other thing I did was uh, I had somebody message me that's in my lug who was ordered from me, and he says, like, yeah, on some of your listings, there's a letter F in the comments section. What does that mean? I'm like, oh. So what happened was that was uh, something that I had found was uh, it had been found when I was logging in a store I had bought. And so some of the comments in Brickstore did not get deleted correctly. So uh, I was just going through and deleting all those and actually merging them because there's two separate lots in most cases. Some of them, uh, probably the cheaper part had already sold. Um, so I went through and in any case that there was two listings, I added them to one listing deleted the one that had the F and I also made sure that the, I had the lower of the two prices, which it was in all cases because the F listings were oh, quite a while ago at this point and I've been modifying prices a little bit lower. So yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. Uh, daily maintenance hit though. Uh, so if you, you can figure out what time I'm recording this approximately. Um, so daily maintenance hit and I unfortunately was like two or three short of being done with that list. So we'll get that tomorrow. Uh, but that is what I got. I'm looking forward to tomorrow getting this last bit of that bin done. And then I can start working on uh, category sorting, I think. Uh, we will see. I've got other stuff going on in life that i got to take care of. Just It's getting real busy. Uh, but we will we'll persevere. In any case, as always, thank you very much. Hello. So, we have finished the initial sort of modified plate. Uh, I still have that full container over there. And... Pretty much there is a second full one over here. I did not go beyond the second full one, though. I'm a little surprised at that. Uh, but as you can see, everything else fit in the containers that I had. Uh, tiles did get a good chunk higher, as I knew it would. Uh, these stayed about the same. I got, like, a couple of pieces from one of these that ended up uh, I ended up finding. But not too much. Um, and everything else is, you know, got more, but it's not horrible. Uh, so it'll be... I'll have to decide what category to do first. I also have this large bin of stuff that doesn't go in here. Now, a lot of it, I can see why it's in here. It just doesn't go in here. Uh, some of it is completely wrong. It just There's no reason for it to be in here at all. Like, there's snot in here. And it's like, that shouldn't be in here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so there's some vehicle parts and some wedge-type pieces and slopes and Technic and just all sorts of stuff. Uh, but yeah, like you know, here's just like a one by one round transparent clear brick. No business being in here. But in any case, so that's additional stuff that's got to be gone through. But yeah, I'm kind of excited. We got this done. It's only like 4:30 in the afternoon on Saturday. So yeah, I got uh, time to do some more stuff, and uh, we'll probably do that. As always, thank you. Hello. So as you can see, my cart is missing from right here. Um, I think I mentioned previously that I found four pick-a-brick cups when I was moving stuff around upstairs that were brand new parts. And so we were basically spent a lot of time yesterday after I sorted out the categories, um, the um, subcategories for the modified plate. And so now, so I've got all the subcategories for modified plate down here on the cart. Uh, and then these drawers up here and a few up top are the ones that I'm putting away that are new parts. Um, a lot of these are probably not going to do well, like I, a bunch of the coral curves there, those are just going to sit probably. But, you know, more of the light bluish gray masonry brick and some other general pieces as well, they'll be fine. And we got a few different ones up top here as well. Um, I already put one away and I was about to put this one away when I realized, oh, I should probably take some video. Uh, so that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, hoping I can get this done in about an hour or so. Maybe a little bit less, because then I've got to go through and uh, price some of the pieces that weren't in my inventory already. And maybe double check the other prices as well. Uh, that's what I've got going on right now. You've got, uh, got the brick store file up there going through. And uh, that is it, as always. Thank you very much. Hello again. 
It is Monday morning. It's probably just afternoon, and uh, I'm going to try to get the vlog out today. Uh, and this is just the last little bit. I put away all the parts from the pick-a-brick cups that I found. Uh, that was like 3,500 pieces or something like that. And I had a couple of orders over the weekend for people in Lug. They're going to get delivered tonight at the Lug meeting. And that was a little over 1,000 pieces. So all told, I just hit 500,000 pieces. I'm um, 106 over that, so I doubt it'll stay that way for long unless I get to uploading, which, you know, I've got all these parts down here, all the modified plate that need to start going in. I just haven't had a chance to get to that yet, and I'm not sure I'm going to get to that until tomorrow. Um, I have uh, somebody coming over later this afternoon. I've got an appointment before that. I get a lot of stuff going on, but that is what is going on here. Uh, I am still excited that I hit the 500,000, even if it doesn't stay, uh, and because uh, we'll get there again. And, you know, it'll just be continuing to grow generally in a forward direction. Uh, but that's all I've got. Thank you very much. And we'll look forward to the next vlog.